Masters of the Cosmic Council, Rising Above the Global Pandemic of Illusion. The world finds itself at a crossroads of global uncertainty. The original concern about the spread of disease has now been overtaken by the need to be vaccinated. While the pandemic has forced isolation, lockdowns, and disconnection, mandated vaccinations is now dividing nations, countries, and families. This situation is proving to be as divisive as religious belief, but are people looking at the hidden agendas behind it all? Those choosing not to get vaccinated will find themselves excluded from society in many ways. It is this very paradigm that will facilitate a collapse of social order, as their right to choose will be viewed by many as an attack on societal freedom. The disconnection, and divisiveness that this issue causes amongst friends, families, and communities cannot be ignored, nor should those choosing against vaccination be blamed for their decision. There has been much misinformation, and propaganda spread in the media, and on social media about the vaccination, and virus alike. Not all information, or research about the available vaccinations are false, but there is a lot of conflicting information, making it almost impossible for any person to make a personal judgment about the vaccine. With information on how disease spreads, medications that, are taken percentages of people who have died from cancer, kidney disease, viruses, and infections, and research having broken through the clinical barriers for curing these diseases, why aren't all people now being given the appropriate treatments to protect them from dying? Why is climate change not being addressed without all the rhetoric, and grandstanding? Why are large masses of people still dying of hunger, or being ripped apart by war, and violence? Why are women, and children still living in societies without rights, and at the mercy of men who have no love, or compassion in their hearts? Who is? Really driving the wheels of government? And why are they not helping countries of the world to become safe, sustainable, and progressive? We have spoken before of the dark forces who work insidiously to undermine the greater good of mankind. The etheric forces of evil harnessed by souls who remain in ego, and self-serving ways eventually take them over, leading them to become hard of heart, and unable to feel empathy for others. There are many people in positions of power whose words defy their actions, and whose intentions, seemingly of integrity are the exact opposite. The smoke screens they erect are elaborate, deliberate, and clever. Now, with the global pandemic sweeping the world, the opportunities for the dark forces to tighten their grip on the global economy has fallen in their lap, and they are wasting no time in making the world a misery. The political agendas behind the tracking of personal information are deeper than the public are aware, but government bodies are also being deceived by these higher powers, some of whom are in positions of power within those bodies. The need to track manipulate, and control individuals, and corporations may seemingly have been triggered by the pandemic, but has actually been going on for centuries. The pandemic has allowed it to become more open, but not more transparent. So, as there are councils of masters of light, there are also councils of darkness. These councils exist in lower dimensions of the spirit world, and contain entities that may or may not have once existed on Earth. There are also other beings who have infiltrated the planet whose need for domination, and control is like a drug that, is all-consuming. Any being who is driven by darkness is incapable of love, compassion, and empathy, and will always find ways of feeding their ego, and self-driven needs, usually at the expense of others. Free will means nothing to these lost souls and the resulting karma is of no concern to them, while their hunger for power, and control continues to be quenched. There are many people on earth who have been consumed by this energy, but there are just as many who are actually not human. They live, and work alongside unsuspecting humans every day, and have families, friends, and seemingly normal lives. These people usually rise to positions of power extremely quickly 
often backed by unseen forces who fell many a foe in their wake. These people are elected, or appointed with impeccable credentials, and on a wave of popularity with the hopes, and prayers of the people, and the promise of great, and positive change. Once in power, however, the hopes quickly die as the decisions made by these presidents, premiers, colonels, CEOs, chancellors, bishops, and chairpersons create great wealth for their own, and their benefactors' pockets, and more poverty, and hardship for the masses. However, the veil is lifting now. In the next year, governments, corporations, and powerful individuals will find themselves exposed, if that has not happened already. However, for many humans, the damage has been done. Alongside deaths from disease, and illness, suicide is becoming an increasing problem amongst young to middle-aged people in Western societies. Across the board, men, women, and even children in civilized countries are experiencing severe depression, anxiety, and panic attacks that, is hindering their ability to enjoy a life, or want to keep living. The causes are varied, often personal, and complicated, but disconnection from source, and therefore their higher selves is the main reason people can no longer find any, hope. While global events are causing the vibrations within the human collective consciousness to be particularly low, they are not the main culprit for the sharp increase in the number of people being so disconnected, disillusioned, and trapped in despair. The predominant reason is fear of failure, particularly in young men, alongside an inability to see outside of their own problems, and ego-driven needs. Once anyone in depression hits the mark of despair, all they can see is black. Turning to drugs, alcohol and other substances makes it all ten times worse. The inability to turn things around for the better is usually underpinned by a total lack of faith in themselves to be able to create anything successful, or positive, and the negative self-talk that, is continuously in their heads leads them to the conclusion that death is the only way out. So, is all on earth lost? Has humanity been taken over by the dark, with no, hope? at all? Many messengers on earth are heralding significant, and often catastrophic changes to the conditions of living on earth within the coming weeks, and months. In most cases, cataclysmic weather, and natural disaster events are a long time in the making, as Mother Earth resiliently tries to counter each attack by human individuals, corporations, and societies on her resources, and energy. At breaking point, and unable to withstand the dark, corrupt energy of ego that has resulted in war, terrorism, injustice, and the vile way humans treat each other, not to mention the raping, pillaging, pollution, and plundering of her sacred treasures over centuries, the spirit of Mother Earth, Gaia, is leaving, she cannot protect third-dimensional Earth any longer. With the golden age of Aquarius and Earth's ascended state evolving, and progressing at a startling rate, her own ascension is complete, and her mission on the old earth has terminated. She must now leave those who have chosen to ignore the stirrings of their heart, and the song in their soul to their chosen fate, and move into the new age to welcome, and accommodate the ascended ones. Time has literally run out, and any choice that may have been open to those wavering in their belief of their own divinity is dwindling. There are now only two choices humanity has at their disposal, wake up, or face the dire consequences. Ascension is a divine consciousness that grows existentially in the minds of those who have chosen to awaken at a certain time in their human lifetime. It brings the individual into alignment with their divine blueprint as outlined in their soul contract, in accordance to the lessons they have learned, and the mastery they have achieved over their lifetimes. Many people are now becoming cognizant of their soul journey, and, if they have agreed to be way showers for ascension, because they are discovering psychic connections, and gifts that have been hidden from them until their awakening. The ascension of humanity was never meant to take as long as it has, but, until 2020, the masses have largely allowed themselves to be sheep, 
and herded in any direction the masters of darkness have led them. Too used to believing what is told to them, or what can only be seen with the naked eye, the mechanics of corruption have escaped most, but an astute few. However, the arrival of a global pandemic, and the resulting heavy-handed tactics of government to lock down, and then vaccinate against the growing wave of disease, and death have had an astounding effect on the spiritual consciousness of man. The tide has turned, and the long-awaited mass ascension has finally begun. Slowly, and steadily, the light has been overtaking the dark, causing the attempts to quell the rumblings of dissension, and mass awakening by those serving themselves, to become even more desperate. The COVID-19 pandemic is one of many calamitous events that have been a convenient vehicle to cleanse the planet, and to keep humanity's awakening at bay, but, it is coming to a head, and will have the exact opposite effect on the consciousness of mankind that those who have chosen the dark path ever intended. Yes, there is still fear, and conspiracy theories abound, many of them true but discounted by those who cannot believe that humans could wage war upon their fellow man, but light always suppresses the dark, and truth will always prevail. The ascended earth is not on another planet, but in a different, and higher dimension. It is where you are, but requires a different, and higher level of awareness. It encompasses the crumbling, third-dimensional earth in a way that allows people of different consciousnesses to coexist until the lower energies can no longer sustain themselves in the higher vibrations of love, tolerance, and unity. The age of Aquarius, the golden age, is literally entombing the unascended earth, and taking the darkness with it. Fear divides, and love unites. Love is all there is. There is nothing that cannot be overcome when one is working from the heart with loving intention without hidden agendas. Do not allow yourself to lose sight of who you are in spirit, or of your connection to the powers of the universe that, are your tools to overcome the hardships, injustices, or dilemmas you are facing. All else is illusion, and will only become reality, if you believe it to be so. So. Now is the time to connect to the divine truth of who you are, and what your sole purpose, and path is. This will guide you to make decisions based on love, and truth, not fear, or manipulation. The world, and humanity will prevail over COVID-19, however long it takes, but, it is what happens afterwards when it has finally been controlled that, is of the most importance. The book is written, so to speak but the ending is not, because what is happening is very much dependent on the decisions of a few, and the reactions of the masses. It is an ending that can have many different scenarios, dependent on the choices that, are made now, and into the future. You, as an individual, now must look outside of the global pandemic, vaccination mandates, and governmental heavy-handedness to find your higher truth. What is the lesson for you? It is only by looking outside of, and above the story, as, if looking down objectively, and connecting to your etheric truth, that you will know how you can rise above the multi-dimensional web of lies, and deceit that has been cast over humanity over many centuries. We are the masters of the Cosmic Council. Channel, Victoria Cochrane.